Hey YouTube, it's Robert Hall, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about using colored gels in your flash photography. My channel is sponsored by Adorama, which buys me the time to create these type of videos without the influence from any specific camera brand. I personally shop at Adorama for their great deals on a wide selection of products, as well as their support of those products down the road. So if you end up interested in any of the products discussed in this video, please use the links in the description below. So to me, the base level of utilizing flash is just balancing it exposure wise to get the look and feel you want with an ambient light situation. Or you could even argue studio photography balancing two, three light sources. Just getting all the exposures dialed in is kind of the entry level to flash. Beyond that, I think flash gets a lot more advanced when you start getting picky about patterns, size, coverage, all those little properties that determine what modifier you're going to use. From there, you get into utilizing the color of flash, that is, making sure that the color is either balanced with the ambient or at least paying attention to it to the point where you're getting the look that you want. And around that time, you might also start experimenting with color effect gels. First, let me make this distinction. A color correction gel is a gel that is designed to match another type of light temperature. That is, taking a CTO gel to make your flash balance with tungsten lighting. Now, I've already made a video discussing that, so if you're interested in that topic, then you can check out that video right up here. Using a color effect gel, however, is a little bit different. You're not trying to match your flash to the color of another light source. Instead, you're trying to change the color of your flash intentionally. Now, using a color effect gel you can change your flash to any color in the rainbow that you want so let's talk about some ways that you can get more control out of using colored light and effect gels so while i give you these tips i'm going to share some images and behind the scenes from a recent session that i did where we utilize a lot of color so a few months ago i had this shoot with a band called escape driver where we were creating images to support their upcoming album release the creative direction just called for using a ton of color because a they have an 80s vibe, so the idea of having a ton of neon to support it just makes sense. B, they already had an idea for their debut music video to incorporate a lot of color, so they wanted their images to kind of be defined in that same way. So the first tip I would give you by far, the most important thing is to really pay attention to your brightness because if you overexpose when using a color effect gel, you're just going to lose a lot of the saturation and that richness of the colored gel. So if you're looking and you feel like you're just getting white light wherever you're using a color effect gel, just drop it down and start at a lower value and build up from there and pay attention to when you start losing that color. The second tip I would give you is to use atmosphere aerosol. Pick up a couple cans of atmosphere aerosol. This stuff is invaluable for being able to light empty space with color. This is kind of a rule for light in general, but if you're just kind of throwing light through air, you're never gonna see the color in the air. So if you wanna light negative space, just open areas, then you're gonna need something to add texture to the air, that way it actually picks up the color. So for this shoot, we were spraying atmosphere aerosol all the time, that way we got some textured color in the air, rather than splashing light on a backdrop, which tends to be way brighter and call attention away from the subject. The great thing about atmosphere aerosol is that it quickly dissipates and you can utilize it anywhere, indoors and outdoors. Obviously, it's going to work better indoors because it doesn't you know, dissipate as quickly, but it's just really handy for showing the shape of light and the color of light over negative space. Next, if you're primarily a soft light shooter, then this is going to be kind of a new venture for you because I think that color gels work a lot better as hard light. And there's a few reasons for this. First off, diffusion and bouncing both reduce the saturation of light. So the more that light bounces around in a big modifier and the more diffused it is, the less rich the color is going to be. In this session, there were a few times with different colors where I was trying to use a big soft fill light and it just doesn't work. The color just doesn't have the richness to it that you would expect if you were using a harder light source. The other advantage of using a hard light source is it doesn't fall off as fast. And since your exposure value is more consistent across the subject when using hard light, that also means that your color is going to be more consistent. Hard light is also going to create more dramatic shadows, which presents a really good opportunity when you're trying to use multiple colored gels. When you create really dramatic, really hard shadows, that gives you an opportunity to fill them in with a different color if you're trying to incorporate multiple colors. Now when you're using gels, you don't have to go crazy and have like five different colored gels coming together. I do think it's a really cool look, but you can also make it really simple with just using some white light and a splash of color. 
By using the white light, you also provide a natural, authentic representation of, say, the skin tone or the clothing that seems to emphasize the color more dramatically. Now when you get into using harder light sources, one of the issues that arises is spill. Because when you're using harder light sources, that means it's going to illuminate backgrounds and stuff more evenly to your subject, whereas soft light falls off so rapidly. So flags become your best friend for blocking out unwanted spill on your background. So make sure to have some type of cards around or reflectors with black sides, something that you can use to block your light because inevitably it's going to start showing up on places you don't want when you're using harder light. Now, when it comes to using multiple colors, this session was a little wild. We were just going for like dramatic different colors, really neon, vibrant colors. So we were using a lot of magentas and aquas and yellows and oranges, and it was just kind of crazy. But typically, I like to have my color have a purpose. Now, I've talked about this in a few BTS journals before, where I'm using color to emphasize parts of the story using blue to make an area look like night, utilizing red to communicate danger and warning. Color really evokes feelings, so pay attention to the energy that your colors give off and try to utilize them to drive home the purpose of your image. Now I'm not going to dive too far here into color theory because there is so much information on it, but if you want a good baseline for color theory, you can check out the book, If It's Purple, Someone's Gonna Die. I think that's what it's saying. I'll link it in the description below if you're interested. But that's a wonderful resource if you just want to learn more about what your color in your image is saying. But one of my favorite general looks nice techniques when it comes to utilizing color is just making sure that I'm using complementary colors. So this could be something like the typical action movie poster, blue and orange. That is a very popular use of color. But one thing I like to do is utilize two colors that would make another color. So for instance, utilizing blue, red, and purple, or green, blue, and aqua. Using those type of color combinations just really adds a lot of harmony to the use of color in an image. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed these tips on using color effect gels. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And until next time, keep on shooting.